Hello, this is Jeremy from Jeremy's IT Lab. Recently, my channel has, or is going to, achieve three big milestones. I just passed 30,000 subscribers. I have almost 1 million total channel views. And if you look at the date I'm recording this, it's April 19th, 2020. And I started my channel April 20th, 2019. So as of tomorrow, it will be the one year birthday of my channel. So to help me celebrate these three milestones, my friends at Boson Software have provided some prizes for a giveaway. I have three copies of XSIM for the CCNA 200-301. This is all updated for the new exam. Uh, these are Boson's practice exams. Um, I use these personally to get my CCNA, and pretty much everyone who uses them highly recommends them. So three lucky winners for XSIM, and one copy of NetSIM to give away, NetSIM for CCNA. NetSIM is Boson's network simulator. It's kind of like Packet Tracer, but even more powerful. You can do more things in NetSim than you can in Packet Tracer. And it's not just the uh, simulator you get. You get their set of pre-made labs with detailed walkthroughs. This is a list of all the labs they have for the CCNA. Quite a few, as you can see. These are like the ones I have on my YouTube channel for my course, but more in depth. So just to show you these products, um, let's do an example from each. First up here is a question from XSIM. And this is relevant to the day 17 video I just uh, put out on my channel, all about VLANs and trunking. So let's read the question. Switch A and switch B are connected over an 802.1Q trunk link. So this link between them is a trunk. The native VLAN for the trunk link is configured as VLAN 11 on switch A and VLAN 111 on switch B. All of the hosts reside in the same IP subnet. Okay, so what of the following is true regarding the connectivity between the hosts in this scenario? Okay, so let's go through these one by one. A, host A can ping host B. So what do you think? Host A and host B, both connected to switch A. Host A is in VLAN 11. Host B is in VLAN 111. So is this true? Host A can ping host B? No, it is not true. Because they are in separate VLANs, switch A will not forward the traffic between them. Okay, how about B? Host C can ping host D. Well, as you can see, this is the same situation. Two hosts, different VLANs. There's no router doing uh, routing between them. They're connected to the same switch. So this is a no for B. Question C, host B can ping host C. Okay, let's see, host B, VLAN 111. So it should not be able to ping host C, but there is this native VLAN mismatch between the two switches. So that could cause some uh, unintended operation here. Let's see. So host B sends an ICMP echo request for the ping. Switch A sends it out of its trunk interface and it tags it for VLAN 111 because the native VLAN on switch A is 11, so this is not the native VLAN, so it tags it. And then that packet arrives at, or sorry, that frame arrives at switch B, which has VLAN 111 configured as the native VLAN. So what will it do? Well, if you remember from day 17's video, it will simply discard the frame. That's because VLAN 111 is the native VLAN on switch B, so it expects all traffic in VLAN 111 to be untagged. However, this frame is tagged, so it will be discarded. So, host B cannot ping host C. Now, how about D? Host D can ping host A. So, again, they are in separate VLAN, so they shouldn't be able to, but let's see if they can. So, host D, VLAN 111, sends the ICMP echo request. Switch B will not tag the frame, because that is the native VLAN. So an untagged frame reaches switch A. And because it's untagged, switch A assumes it's in the native VLAN, which for switch A is VLAN 11. So it thinks it's VLAN 11 traffic, so it will forward it to host A. And then host A will send the ICMP echo reply in VLAN 11, which is the native VLAN, so switch A will not tag it. Switch B receives the untagged traffic, assumes it's in VLAN 111, its native VLAN, and then the reply reaches host D. So the answer here, D, host D can ping host A. 
is correct. None of the hosts can ping each other. Well, we just saw that is incorrect. So I think the answer is D. Let's check. Click show answer. And as you can see, it is correct. And here is a detailed explanation from Boson, essentially explaining what I just walked you through there. And there are also references to the official cert guide here and some links to Cisco documentation online you can read. Okay, so there's an example of a question on XSIM from Boson. Now let's take a quick look at NetSIM. So this is NetSIM for CCNA. Uh, you can see the CCNA labs here, CCNA 200-301, following the exam topics. We got network fundamentals, uh, network access, including things like VLANs, trunks, IP connectivity, that's uh, routes, default routes, static routes, OSPF, which we'll be covering later in the course, uh, IP services, NAT, that's another big topic, NTP, DHCP, security fundamentals, including lots of access control lists. And here, these are uh, CCNP labs. Okay, so you can see tons of pre-made labs for the CCNA. Um, let's take a quick look at one. As you can see, I tested this one out. Let's take a look. Click load lab. So configuring VLANs. This is very much like the uh, day 16 video I released, covering basic access ports, things like that. So two switches, host A and host B connected to fast ethernet 01 here. And there are two links between the switches, fast ethernet 11 and 12. This is a summary of the commands you need to complete the lab, the IP addresses on each device, and the lab tasks. Let's take a look at some of the tasks you have to do. I won't go through the whole lab, but let's see. Configure switch one with a host name. Okay, we know how to do that. Verify the VLAN port assignments on switch one using the appropriate uh, show command. Now, what command is that? VLAN and port assignments. Well, that is uh, here, show VLAN brief, which I showed you in the uh, day 16 and day 17 videos. Uh, create VLAN 10 and VLAN 100. Uh, add ports to VLAN 10. That's with the uh, switch port access VLAN command. Configure the host name of the other switch. Assign IP addresses. Uh, do a ping, things like that. Okay, so these are the lab tasks, which you ideally complete on your own. And then here are the uh, solutions, detailed solutions. So it shows all the commands you need to enter on each device. It shows you the show commands with all the uh, expected output you'll get here. And yeah, some detailed explanations. And then the final configuration here. And as you can see, this operates just like a regular switch, uh, like you see in Packet Tracer. Enable, conf t, I'll set the host name there, host name, switch one, like that. Um, what was another task we had here? Now I do a show command, do show VLAN brief. Okay, as you can see, just like Packet Tracer, actually even more powerful than Packet Tracer. There's a lot of stuff that Packet Tracer can't do, even though it's good enough for the CCNA usually, but uh, yeah, NetSim is much more powerful. Okay, so there's a little bit of a sample of Boson XSIM and Boson NetSIM. Uh, please check the links in the description uh, to enter into the giveaway and good luck. And also, one more time, thank you so much for watching my channel. Um, as of tomorrow, it's one year, over 30,000 subscribers, about 1 million views, and I feel so lucky. So thank you to all my viewers, all my subscribers, and all my supporters. Okay, good luck with your studies and good luck with the giveaway. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment, and share the video with anyone else studying for the CCNA. If you want to leave a tip, check the links in the description. I'm also a Brave verified publisher and accept BAT or basic attention token tips via the Brave browser. That's all for now.